Rugs are one of the oldest forms of home furnishings. In fact, Central Asian nomads use them dating back to the 4th century BC. Today we talk with Javid and Sima Hakakian, who offer quality rugs to today's modern interior designers and homeowners. The buyers these days have many choices. You come to this showroom and you see 5,000 rugs and 7,500 carpet samples and you get totally overwhelmed, whether it's wall-to-wall -wall carpeting as Broadloom or an area rug as Broadloom or traditional rug, contemporary rug, transitional rug. All right, what is Broadloom? Broadloom is referred to wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. If you don't have wood floor and you would like to cover it, or even if you do have wood floor and you want the warmth, you can use Broadloom as wall-to-wall. -wall. So Broadloom is one choice. What would be the opposite of Broadloom? It can be handmade, hand-tufted, machine-loomed, hand-loomed, um, many other choices for rugs, yes. And then we have choices in materials as well. The material can be wool, polyester, nylon, viscose, tensile, bamboo silk, or any combination of those fibers. What are you seeing now, Seema, for the big trends among rug buyers? I see the trend as a reflection of your personality. I look at the floor as the fifth wall. And the same way that you decorate your walls with beautiful paintings and artwork and wall coverings and faux paint, the floor has to be decorated the same way. What goes into how expensive rugs are? The first and foremost is the type of weaving that the rug and the origin that the rug has come from. However, apart from the weaving and the number of knots, the quality of the rug is very important. So when you're talking about weaving, you mean like a machine loom would be the best option for those on a tight budget? Correct. The machine loom or hand tufted would be the best price attractive for them. And then at the other end of the spectrum? Hand knotted rugs. Uh, the tighter the knot, the better the quality and obviously pricier. Seema owns her business with her husband Javid, who specializes in antique and oriental rugs. So we're here with Javid in the antiques room. Can you give me a sense what is an oriental rug? Well, an area rug that's done by hand, hand knotted, from China to North, North Africa is called oriental rug. So what makes uh, an oriental rug different if it's an antique versus a modern oriental rug? Mostly the design, and of course at one point it used to be the origin, but it has changed big time. Pakistan has started making, and Afghanistan and China makes magnificent, great quality Persian classical designs. Are there certain kinds of designs that are antique and yet still appealing to modern buyers? Yes, a lot of geometric all over pattern, steel and the softer one, the ones that colors have actually gone and diminished are the ones that are most valuable and very expensive. When we're talking about a masterpiece antique rug, how long would workers have spent creating that piece? Uh, normally on the larger pieces you put um, a number of people with the same strength energy, same size hands to make the same rug. So it may take years for four or five people to work on a nine by two or a 10 by 14 piece of rug. The showroom at their business caters to all types of homeowners and to some top designers too. So Seema and Javid follow the market trends closely. And the choices here, Seema, are so vast. Can you talk me through a little bit what you can offer for the budget conscious and what you offer for those who are looking at their rugs as an amazing collectible piece of art. For the low budget, we have beautiful broadloom carpet that we can cut and bind to their specific size. We can do a nine by 12 rug as low as $800. And then you can have a custom made rug, like a beautiful art piece behind me of thousands and dollars. What do you look at if someone is gonna use their rug in say a family room? Uh, what kind of uh, factors go into making sure that whatever they're purchased, that it's durable and practical? That comes back to us to interview the client and see how many children, any pets that there are in the house, how many doors enter the room and what the traffic pattern is. And we usually get them to more textured rugs and darker colors. And if they really are looking for some lighter colors, we do recommend that they do treat the carpet against stains. So whether you're looking for a broad loom for your family room, a fine rug for your living room, or a trendy rug to make a bold statement, visit a reputable rug dealer who can help educate you about your choices.